Up first is a good friend of mine. He's a comedian, actor, author, and host of the podcast, Understand This. Finesse Mitchell is here. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, my brother? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. So listen, you just kind of joined a new club, taking your first flight during lockdown to see your parents. How was it? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. He's so concerned about, you know, the breathing and the air and the recycled air. And I was just making sure that I was doing everything right. And then, lo and behold, Ian, bro, I woke up because it was a red-eye flight. I woke up like three hours into the flight. My mask was on the floor. <laughs> I'm feeling real coldish right now, Ian. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. When you wake up on a red eye and you just kind of look around and you're breathing fine and you're like, hmm, this is comfortable. Ooh, my mask! And I'm looking <laughs> down there on my shoes, bro. I don't even, you know, hey. So how long had it been since you, you saw your parents? March. It had been almost six months. Wow. And, and my mother, she was recovering from a stroke. So wow. my older brother is in Atlanta taking care of her as he would like to call it, but really he's <laughs> just living in her house. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but uh, I, it was just, it was just bothering me, bro. And yeah. so um, I had a couple of friends, parents who actually passed away from COVID. And, and I was like, I got to get home. I got to see my mom. You know, I got to yeah. see my dad. They're both in their eighties. Yeah. And she's doing great, man. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, so she's doing well and your dad's doing well too, right? Yeah, my dad's doing well. My mom is doing well. She had lost her appetite, you know, because of the stroke. She couldn't yeah. taste food. And so uh, she had lost a lot of weight. And now, I mean, she looks amazing. And she's like, it's like a full recovery. So, oh, awesome. So, yeah, man, God is good. Now, you're a comedian. You're very well known. You're out on the road a lot. How yeah. did it work or what kind of adjustments for all you guys now, you know, you being hunkered down with the family? How did that go? Well, first of all, we found out a lot about each other. Uh, I learned my daughter's middle names. <laughs> um, my wife has a system that works very well without me. <laughs> and so the big adjustment came was me being there or being here, you know, seven days out of the week. You know, because if I leave on Thursday and come back on Monday from touring, you know, she only has to put up with me on Monday through Wednesday. <laughs> So we found out that if I don't learn her system, then uh, we might not make we might not make it through quarantine. <laughs> like marriage boot camp for me. Now that we're back all together, man, it's 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 been great. It's been a blessing. Only because, you know, you need. I think, Doctor Ian, I think this is the time for the first time in a long while where this next generation will actually see the home as a safe place mm. because you're spending so much time at home with your family. I don't think it'll be corny anymore. Sure. Because back in the day, remember, spending time at home was going outside and playing and coming back in when the street lights came on. That's right. That's right. And now everybody had to stay in. So we just had to find creative ways, you know, to keep our daughters occupied and keep their mind from driving us crazy and and having us lose our mind. I'm a doctor two days out the week. Bro, look, let me tell you something, bro. Yeah. Call me Dr. Finesse. Yeah, yeah. I operate on baby Cece. <laughs> baby Lauren. I got them all, brother. You got them all, huh? Look at that. I got them all, brother. <laughs> 